Hey, 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 Libra, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, February 10th to the 11th intuitive love tarot read. This is for my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully you guys can get something out of it today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Libra, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it, and thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in any personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys, and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Alrighty, Libra, let's see what's going on for you. I'm going to get a channeled message in just one moment. But first, there's Tarot. Your energy, your overall energy, Libra, is the Four of Wands. What's on Libra's mind? What's on Libra's mind here? The King of Swords. There you are. And what's coming towards Libra? Seven of Pentacles. What's your response to this? The King of Wands. Ooh, it's sexy time, Libra. And your advice. Eight of Cups. Hmm, interesting. Libra. Magician is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's see what spirit has for you, shall we? Free yourself, Libra. Free yourself from the bondages that you feel tied to. What is weighing you down? What is keeping you stuck? Share your interests with others, Libra. Expand on your creative pursuits. Think outside of the box and do something different. Day in, day out, it's the same thing. Do something different. Lead the way, be the leader for yourself, for your spirit. Thank you. Thank you, spirit. Okay. All right, Libra. Interesting. All right, let's see what the cards have to say, Libra. Your overall energy is the four of wands here. So you're... Your mind is focused on stability. Your mind is focused on, it could be marriage for some of you. It could be a twin. It is a twin flame card, right? It could be you're trying to manifest a home with a magician at the bottom of the deck. But let's see. Why is it four of wands here? Nine of swords. I just heard stability. Hmm. Two of Wands. I, I feel like this, it's like the Five of Wands. This is on shaky ground. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, now they're giving me like the sound of a house like creaking. You know, like that creaking. There's something off center here. And I feel like you feel it because of the Nine of Swords here. There could be a lot of conflict going on at home. Okay, and there could be a decision you're going to need to make here with the Two of Wands. It could be between two people. Could be moving. It is a moving card. And that would make somebody nervous. There could be a lot of discussion, drama, a lot of people within the house having their own opinions on moving, if that is it. So... What's on your mind is the King of Swords. It's like 
you're making sure that you're, you're trying to focus on the intellectual, on what actions need to be done to calm this down, to gain hold of this stability, to, to make it stable. That's what I'm feeling. Tell me about the King of Swords. The Princess of Cups. Okay, the King of Cups. And Death. There's some sort of love going on within this household that needs to be transformed. I, uh, and I, what I heard, Libra is scared to love. That's what I heard. And that is why the King of Swords is showing up at the top here. I feel like some people within this household have wide open hearts. Others, it's like they're flourishing. I feel like you are scared to open your heart fully and be emotionally vulnerable. This is the transformation. Uh, I feel that you're coming to this realization. I feel that you may be connecting with your heart space more and seeking to transform, to really rise and you know balance that body mind and spirit here i because what i'm feeling libra is that this this house whatever this house is to you this could be different for everybody this could be talking about a business for some people if this is happening okay but i'm feeling that because this is shaky and you're not feeling balanced libra's need to feel balanced you're like almost like fuck that shit I need to at least feel balanced within. If I'm going to be in an environment that is on shaky ground and makes me anxious, or I feel anxious within this environment, all I can control is me, and that's what I'm doing. And this is what you're transforming, which is awesome. So what's coming towards you is the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like with patience, okay, things will begin to grow. Things will, you're going to, you're going to discover seeds you want to plant. And this is what Spirit said about being stuck here. Unstick yourself. So I feel like this is interesting. You're listening to your intuition over here. You're trying to go within, go within your heart space and really open up and, and try to transform you start planting seeds okay or at least there's opportunities to do so and then all of a sudden i don't know what makes you feel stuck let's see that's interesting ah you're always tripping up on your heart space here it's like to keep your heart space open seems to be a challenge here i feel like there are times when you want to open it Knight of Swords, you want to listen to your intuition. You want to show, it's not like you go from hot to cold. No, it's just this vulnerability that you go in and out of. Yeah, three of wands. So you're trying to be patient with yourself. Uh, this will come towards you. And it's really, you have to understand this two of swords is self-imposed, right? You're keeping yourself stuck. There may be, again, we go back to this decision. There may be some sort of decision that you need to make that's keeping you stuck and pulling you back. Your response to this is the king of wands, which I like seeing because the king of wands is fire. Aries Leo Sag. And this is all about manifestation. This is all about you know, going and acting on ideas that I have or passions, right? This sexy tab, justice, twin flame card. So this is Libra. This is your energy. This is listening to your intuition. As far as your passions go, um, you're going to be expressing your passion. Four of pentacles. But I almost feel like it's one or the other. Yeah. The chariot. I feel like you're trying to find this balance between your passion and your heart, right? Like the expression of sexual energy and the expression of that emotional vulnerability, right? Trying to find that balance. Sometimes holding back 
but I do feel you're victorious over doing this. And I feel like it's a certain somebody that you're wanting to be expressive with, that you're wanting to be emotionally vulnerable with. Who is this person that you're wanting to be emotionally vulnerable with? Who is this individual? Let's see, Libra. Who is this individual? Mm, the Hanged Woman in the Seven of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles. It could be an Earth sign, specifically Capricorn. There's some confusion around this. You could have options here. Or it's somebody you're preparing yourself for. It's like you almost know if you get into a relationship, you know you have to be emotionally vulnerable. So it's like you're building your world. You're trying to balance. You're looking at life from a different perspective. You're taking your time. But there's a little bit of confusion as to how you want to continue with love. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the hermit energy, you're going to go within and you're going to seek that wisdom. Somebody is here though. I'm feeling an energy. And I feel like this has got to be somebody that you're preparing yourself for. That's what I'm feeling. Your advice is to eight of cups. It is to walk away from something. Princess of swords. To what I feel like it's walking away from anything that's holding you back. Yeah, and this is going to, to involve strength and take strength, inner strength. And I feel like you know this. On an intuitive level, you know this. You know this is where your happiness lies. And this is where you like come into abundance and burst into abundance and happiness and marriage and loyalty and all that other stuff. But it's like you got to overcome you. Yeah, time to let go and walk away from what was. This betrayal, this lie, this whatever happened to um, maybe shake up your foundation, okay? Time to let it go. Time to let it go. At the bottom of the deck is the Three of Cups. Perhaps this is it. You're like preparing for a reunion. That is a reunion card or dating in general, which is why the Seven of Cups showed up. So you could be just preparing to get out in the dating world because you know that you need to be emotionally vulnerable, okay? I like that you're doing this inner work. It's really um, empowering here, Libra. All right, so let's get an animal totem for you, Libras. Ooh, you got two. The rattlesnake. The experiences that you're presently going through are an initiation into fulfilling your purpose as a healer. So something about your purpose has to do with healing people. And we heal in many ways, right? In anything that we create, it could be a picture that's healing. Whoever creates it, your energy goes into it, your heart goes into it, right? And people, when they see that creation, can feel that love and it has an impact, whether consciously or subconsciously. So just know that your energy is healing to others. And cardinal. The polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance. So do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium. And that's what I feel spirit is saying over here. Okay, with the advice here. Because you are out of balance. And this is what you are seeking. So I feel like you're in the right mind space. You just have to keep reminding yourself of that lever, okay? All right, Libra, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fantastic day, Libra, and I will catch you on the flip side tomorrow on The Dailies. Namaste.